Look at that boy Jeff. Get over it. Like, yeah, and meanwhile, Mom, me I'm your brother building a oh, business. Oh, yeah, you, you're my brother building who's, a business. You love to play both sides, bro. Yield What's the, what other you side play both sides. What's the other side am I playing? You play both sides. What's and it's the other like, side that I'm playing? I'll partner with all of your enemies. <laughs> oh. Are we, are we, is this, is this? Do you know you start every <laughs> podcast stuttering? Are we, is, is this, are, yeah. Welcome back to. I do want to say before you even say that. No. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. We got Jake Paul in the house. Seven and one. Boxer defeated Nate Diaz in a 10 round all out brawl. He looking like a cheetah. He was so quick. He was so powerful in there. We saw him. Some of the critics are saying opposite though. As usual, the haters are there online to discredit your shit, Jake. How you feeling though, brother? Dude, he Man, I feel jumped. pretty good. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just got the job done. Was waiting for like. How does Logan have a black guy and he doesn't when 45 he's doing the real fight? Right here here here. Thank you. I'm happy fighting. you brought that up. That's what I was going to ask you about. You, you bring him what up as an important juice? guest, Jake Paul, seven and one boxer extraordinaire. Yet you couldn't show up on time. Two episodes in a row to your own podcast i have an excuse and it's a good one you always have an excuse i was getting mom's birthday gift i was getting mom's birthday gift that, that we got her jake and i went in on a gift we did do that and uh and we got <laughs> and her. he did need to pick it up <laughs> i had to that is true um it's it's a good one uh pam our sweet sweet mother could, wouldn't be here without her is turning 60 years old <clears throat> great milestone in her life and so we're going to her birthday this weekend to go to go get, her, get a little something nice <laughs> i'm Happy really birthday, excited man. Yeah. To go back home and, and visit Cleveland. She, yeah, it's always fun. Just chill. She's seen 10 Finally years. Get some time off to Six rest. times. Yeah, you've been going hard for a while, yeah. Jake. Yeah, nonstop. Only way to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. And you get to go back to Cleveland, the place where you learned how to be a Bro. Whoa! You can't sit. Let me say this nice, really quickly. Nice. I, if that. anyone can say that word, no, I can fucking no, say it. No. That's our word. That's yeah. our, no, no, it's not. no, 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 that's it's not, our bro. word. I yes, gotta know what he said. That no, word was bestowed it's, upon it's, us. It's a derivative. That, it's a derivative and you're guilty that. by default. Fuck. Why do you think McGregor deleted his tweets? He got Jake the text. would say otherwise. Nope. He, he does got, that all the time. He got he does the text from the publicist that was like, you can't do this, dude. Uh, over that word. He, he, he was saying, show, he was yeah. saying like our word and like other stuff, crazy stuff. Coked out of his mind, bro. Guy's lost it. He's really lost it. Have you seen, have you seen him? I want to see his, his next own. fight, bro. What's the show? Ultimate Fighter. He's the coach. The public job. Have you seen uh, him like, yeah. being a coach? No. <laughs> Open like, he's just going to uppercut. Bing it. You get in that ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Wait, hey, man. What did Jed. you say? <laughs> Some people are good fighters, but not good coaches. And I think he might be one of those. I don't even know if he's a good fighter anymore. I don't think he is a good fighter. After I seen like what Nate Diaz did watch. to him, hurting him, like... You were telling me this on the plane. Yeah, watch. like bro, like what? How did how did Nate Diaz hurt anybody with his punches in his whole entire career? <laughs> Fucking dropping these guys, hitting Connor. Connor's like wobbling in the cage. I could have stood there with my chin out and let Nate, Nate Diaz punch me as hard as he wanted to, and the shit didn't hurt at well, all. Well, when was? I don't know. I well, I was watching the fight. I really thought he was about to get knocked out. It's possible he just has really weird uh, body movements, like Nate Diaz. But I thought he was about to go to sleep. Last time they fought, I don't. Fuck I, I know that I, I'm gonna be the opposite. I always like to play the opposite side. Obviously, it was a, probably a little while ago. Maybe he had a little more power. Obviously, lighter gloves. Maybe a little bit more damage fell in the octagon versus. Well, the, the heavier ring. gloves are actually more dangerous. They hurt. They hurt really. Yeah. Bad. Because would you rather get hit with a ten pound sledgehammer or a five pound sledgehammer? I'd prefer neither, to be honest. If if if. At but all there's possible. also a bigger, I mean, a, a, point, a bigger yeah. surface area of the blunt. The trauma gets passed into a bigger surface area, which creates more of an impact on your head. But maybe that's why, because with the smaller gloves in, in the right spot, pinpointed, it can so hit, you hit get that hit button. The button, similar to how Ramirez, the baseball player, hit the uh, <laughs> the other guy. In the Shout ring. out Cleveland. That was that was insane. Did you see the meme of you versus him in the ring? I, I seen that, like the them editing it together. It was sick. This fight. Wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I just want to ask, um, because my one critique afterwards, you know, I'm, I'm always your brother, and I'm like, hey, can, can you do this for me? Can you work on this? And my one critique was that uh, I, I, I did get to see a little bit of your defense, but I wanted you, at least for this next camp, to work on your head movement. And and the first thing you said was, like, if you're not punching me hard, I'm not going to respect your punches. Yeah, the only thing is, like, obviously the punches are, like, scoring, but 
I honestly look at it as like he's punching me right now and using a lot of energy and it's not hurting and he's getting tired from this. And, and that's what would is. happen. He would like go off in a flurry and I would let him do it and then I would just be ga I give it 20 out of 20 times. He will gas out before Nate Diaz. No Gathering question. Gathering up my breath to go beat the no fuck problem. out of him with hard punches. Well, that, that pace you came out with in the first round. <sighs> wow. Let me just say, first of all, I'm a big Diaz brother fan, you know. How Ed Paul not, brother, Ed Paul brother fan. I think, you I know, think we, I think we all are. Yeah, yeah. So that pace you came out in the beginning, I was like, "Fuck, man, this is so one side. He's gonna knock him the fuck out right away. This is gonna be embarrassing for Nate. His career is gonna be ruined." But you stopped that pace, and then you fought properly for a ten round fight, which that's very impressive for anybody to do a ten round fight. So props to that. Um, I thought Mike, it was over in round one as well. And you're the same age as Nate. You're exactly the same age. Uh, you're 38 years old. He I'll did just, way better than I would have done. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. That's my joke for the show. I'm, it was I'm a good, it was good. a good one. Right, I, I took quiet, you know. I took <laughs> I took notes the whole time just because I knew we were gonna end up are, back. In are you situation. gonna do a brotherly fight now? You got the older brother. You got Nick Diaz. You got the younger brother, and you're gonna go now oh, do MMA cool. rematch. That's Perfect. It's way better than you two fighting each other that you were talking about doing. Whoa, whoa, that's Nobody cool. Nobody wants to see that. Actually, let's let's sweeten that pot a little that. bit because I know you've been having trouble convincing Nate to fight you in an MMA match. Why don't we get me on he, the same card uh, and I'll bro, fight Nick Diaz? He's Double gonna finish header, brother versus gonna, brother. Tag team. T MMA match, no tag team. I'm, I'm happy you guys got MMA. rid of the idea of you two fighting each other because nobody wants to see that. You're too I, that. I think that was just the younger, because when they you're young, you guys probably fought so much when you're young that it was just like, okay, we'll just do it for money now in a ring. But when you get older, you appreciate your family and you love them again. And now you don't want to do that. And now you're both filthy rich. So you don't even need to do it. <laughs> but, you know, I like that you guys support each other. Now you flew all the way in. And, you know, that's cool to see. That's heartwarming. Yeah, we had to squash that narrative. Yeah. It was definitely something of the of the past, but rightfully so. You got to be young and stupid because then you have to mature from that. But everyone has stupid ass shit that they think of and do when they're young kids. Well, also, I think we were in an era where we kind of were willing to do anything for views and clicks. I mean, I can definitely say that for myself. And when your priorities are skewed in that way, like fighting your family member was an option that was not that yeah. was on the table i was like all right sounds entertaining and i'm sure it would be it'd be fantastic three pine so, bottles is crazy does this mean that we could like spar could we move around with there each other a little bit at least i'm down i think that's really good preparation probably for for a lot of people like that's a really good idea i'm yeah. down I vote, i'm yeah let's do it 100%. you should do a real mma fight together behind closed doors just you two no and, a, and a referee just beat the shit out of each other. But you gotta work on that, you know, striking and cardio for wrestling together, and that you two would be perfect to go at it. You could do those MMA, kicks, like the brother, local little brother kick, boxing, you know. Oh, yeah. But then again, we're getting Logan, ahead of ourselves. I, I want to talk about this fight a little bit. I, I didn't know what to expect. No, and I don't. I don't know oh, if I think you knew what to expect or what. You probably went in with a certain strategy, and I noticed Nate's maneuvers and his strategy looked a little different than anybody that you fought. He his guard was extremely tight. Extre it seemed extremely tight the entire fight. And he was doing these lunges and immediately taking your reach and that powerful right hand out of the equation because he was getting inside that, that powerful striking distance. How did that, that change your, your strategy as the fight progressed? Well, yeah, look, I knew he was going to pressure and come forward. He just did it in like an unorthodox way. But I just kept on like sticking and moving and just like outboxing him and using like my punch selection to open up his guard because if you're here boom throw a hook then he brings it back here then i bring the two so i was just using my punch selection to open him up and just um letting him walk into punches really like just okay you're gonna keep on coming forward and he was getting jabbed up the the whole entire night so that's kind of what i expected and i knew it wasn't going to be some like super sharp text uh boxing because i knew it just was going to be a brawl and be a street fight and just to thug it out and picking them apart yes and using my footwork to move around but i knew that it was just going to be a dog fight and who wanted it more let me ask you something and i need an honest answer are you at all disappointed that you couldn't get him out of there uh yes and no i i think when i hurt him in the first round that's why i turned it up on him i saw he was hurt i hurt him to the body then hit him with a hook all at once so he went <laughs> and i was like oh he's hurt and boom put big 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 punches on him and when i see he didn't go down i was like okay like this guy 
is a fucking zombie. <laughs> but what I'm happy about is the fact that I went 10 rounds and tested my cardio to the max and felt super good. And that experience and that confidence now going oh no. 10 rounds, he was, he was, throwing 500 punches. He was leaning on him in for like that to me a whole is minute. such an amazing experience uh, and is going to help me in the, on the, the next fights moving forward. And as long as I got the knockdown and keep my 100% knockdown ratio for all my opponents, that's what I'm happy about. And for the betters on better that betted on it. Well, 100%. <laughs> it was the second most uh, betted fight in the history of boxing in nice. general in general or on better oh, in general know. oh shit how did it do on better better on um, better, better we we had a we had a picks game better went to number three in the app store for sports sporting apps which is huge it went above espn it went above all of these massive massive uh like DraftKings, FanDuel, all of them we were number three ahead of all of them had an amazing weekend um tons and tons of downloads blew it out of the water blew our expectations out of the water and the downloads are still coming in people loved the product and are still um using the app so i don't know that that to me is what i'm most happy about is the success of that because we just launched better fantasy which is in 24 states and now the product is like more readily available and now this is the test like how many people can we get to know about the app download our fantasy product we have the best fantasy product 100 times multipliers uh, no pushes, and we want to share that. With this right yeah, now, I think it's fun. Well, I think it's. I think no. I think it's great, dude. I think it's awesome. You get to build a business based on something you're doing that is so organic to you. I think it's fucking cool. No, and I love it. It's it's my passion. Like I've been building this company now for 18 months, and like now is when we're off to the races because we're in 24 states. Before oh, geez, people would it download it and be like, oh, I can't play, but now we're in California, Texas. <clears throat> All, everywhere so and and it's gonna keep on growing so it's just really cool now that I can start to promote it more because I wasn't promoting it because I was like we're only in two states yeah so now more of my fan base can use it and the NFL season's coming up they can make picks all season long oh, so it's just perfect those, gam those b big statewide gambling licenses no yeah we're still we're still getting them those but so because hard. because of fantasy uh, now we're in 24 states gonna be in probably like 35 to 40 by the okay. by the end of the I year think that's good. I think that's enough. That, You know why I said that right? <laughs> obviously like I would what, what? No, I was just saying Cause, just because was I'm a barstool ambassador. Yeah. It's my little brother. I know no 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 I was kidding. I was just fucking around. I brought he's it up. He's an owner. He's an entity I gave owner. him the lob for it. Yeah, download better <laughs> and play <laughs> better picks. <laughs> Jake. Yeah, I know I never really like have promoted anything on here. It's like uh yeah, that's I what, guess it's yeah. That's what you're here to do, bro. Yeah. I love how you guys have I'm sorry. I just think it's funny that you guys have the same entities in competition across all of your It is actually <laughs> fucked weird. up. It is weird. I <laughs> own a drink company. And an ambassador to a betting company, and you own a betting company, and are an ambassador to a drink company. It is funny. <laughs> it's so funny. And your business partner is his biggest fucking enemy. Yeah. Your bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we'll, well get to. And multiple. They also Dana. <laughs> Technically, like, damn. Me too. Are you guys doing this on purpose? And then you? I'm like the owner of like the PFL, <laughs> and like all of it's weird. Even 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 all of it's even weird. the fact that you found a stray cat, and, and then and bring it home, and I found a stray dog. And brought it home. Wow. But you know how often this this right. has been happening like, like our whole shit. life with like random ass shit. So weird. Just all the time. You might want to go to Jake's next fight. The good news is today's sponsor is SeatGeek. Oh, number yes. one million downloads. SeatGeek oh. is the number one oh, rated ticket for deal. Each every ticket is back. You know, it was purchased. Peak. Girlfriend and this year at the same time. Our lives like, oh, you broke up with your that girlfriend and this year at the same time and you went sober. Like, didn't you do a sober year when you were 26? Same age as you. That's yeah. so fucking i didn't know that like i didn't i obviously knew it but i'm not thinking like oh logan did it when he was 20 like i decided to do that in the same year that you decided to do that yeah it's fucking weird made it 11 months i made it 11 months of being sober and vegan and no vegan was, was only january went, oh that went fast and it was horrible but 11 months of being sober and i was like damn why the what fuck made, am what, i doing what, this what made you want to get sober <laughs> then i stopped um, then, like, late november um Man, I just like knew that I wasn't at my full potential and that it was like limiting me from accomplishing my goals. And I realized I wasn't as focused in the gym. And so I actually decided to go sober before I lost, which is ironic. Like most people like would have lost and like, damn, it was because I was drinking. I like knew I was fucking around too much. And I was like, ah, uh, like I, I just need to give this up. It's not it's not helping me. I, I, nothing bad was necessarily happening, but it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily good, um, and it just 
want to have a clearer mind and i think i was like abusing it a little bit and what just like you, having too much fun you're gonna be an elite athlete you know you got to cut out all those things that are going to take away from that you the know? demons exactly. yeah but yeah but you see a lot of elite athletes still going crazy with that's like, what i was thinking with like nate like, i don't know taking it seriously if you're smoking weed T technically but he smoked his whole career i, would, I don't know if i call him an elite athlete i know in the but in an I'm, mma I'm, space the first, he certainly the was. first person that comes to mind is adesanya Oh yeah, like he has a good ass time. I, I think that dude lives an awesome life and mm -hmm. still trains at the top level and kicks everyone's ass. So like, it's possible to have a balance. I think some people can get away with it, but obviously I'm, I'm I don't think I'm one the, of those people. You're an extremist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're an extremist. He's an extremist. The, you wrote you it called, on a tank. You wrote it on a tank to the arena. That was sick. You called Nate Diaz a zombie. You got that in his blood before and I, I should preface as well too i went through my my uh tagged stories of nate diaz before i was i'm a fan too of his mma career he was he was uh, uh, he was an elite mma fighter he was an incredible fighter in the space you know took down connor a bunch of other guys well his, but along his second, along, excuse me along, <laughs> his second to last fight he fucking almost stopped <laughs> edwards leon edwards and well, became yeah, the champion no, sure. again in the fifth for sure. round in that's what i'm saying champion, champion. The but how with strikes it? with a one two but how did his punches hurt anyone? Anyways. Well, so that's what I was going to ask you. So, along, so along with Zombie, I took a, I was taking notes of different characters that he appeared to me as during the fight, and I, I took some different notes. Um, I have listed that he reminded me of a character from The Walking Dead. At certain moments, Jake was hitting him everywhere except for the head, and he wouldn't go down. You got to hit him with a headshot, the perfect headshot to take his head clean off, and he'll die. The zombie will die. Mm. Um, there were moments where he was he was getting around your punches and getting inside and throwing um, what looked like cat paws, declawed cat paws at your face. I, mm -hmm. I've never seen a puncher throw the so many um, open handed like they that, looked that's like called a Stockton slap. Oh, is that what that yeah, is? Yeah. Um, I, there was times when he looked uh, to be an NPC. He was doing um, some very strange. <laughs> he was NPC. trolling. He was trolling you. The, I have. I also have a character from Groundhog Day because uh, the, the, the guy bag. from Bill Murray, when the alarm would go off and you would wake up, because he would kind of go to sleep and catatonic for a few it minutes and wake like up. And then trying, I also have a comedian, and I want to bring that out to you. Was that pissing you off at all? He had me laughing, bro. Some of the shit he was doing in there was fucking funny, dude. Like. He was doing some dumb shit. Did that throw off your approach at all? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Like, it, it was actually detrimental to him because anytime he, like, had momentum, he kind of would, like, stop to troll. And there was one while he was trolling when he was, like, looking at the rope. And then he turned around. You just see Jake run at him and then punch him. It kind of, like, ruined it. But I realized in the sixth round that he was doing it, like, just to take a break. And as soon as he, sure. as soon as he started doing it, after that, I jumped on him every single time and hit him with big shots. He didn't look was like he was breathing hard at you all. weren't doing that before. There was, yeah, there were yeah, some also, moments where he was turned to the side, and I was like, bro, he could <clears throat> kill him right yeah, now. Yeah, but also some of the moments that he was trolling, I was like, okay, I'm going to take a breath right now. I'm going to take, like, a breath or two. So, and the, by the way, it's like being ready for a whole 10-round fight. I'm winning the rounds. You want to take a break right now? Okay, I'm going to take a breath or two, too. And also the shit you would have got if you knocked him out when he was looking outside, all the comments would have been like, oh, he's no. <laughs> he, he wasn't no. able to. No, You're talking I about think, the internet wouldn't, think, have, wouldn't take that? I think, he, he, I think he would have gotten memed. That's like yeah, that's when, what I'm saying. When cocky fighting goes wrong, and, oh, and they, the, yeah, yeah, moving both ways. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought you almost did it a couple times when you jumped on him and hurt him. He, I mean, he really is a zombie, Jake. Were you when you were? punching him square in the face a couple few clean uppercuts were you demotivated at all that he wasn't going down i just couldn't believe how much damage he was taking and especially to the body bro anytime i would hit him to the body he'd be like, Ugh! <laughs> and like bro didn't care and he'd be like let go motherfucker <laughs> would you say right now on the show that nate diaz has that dog in him yeah for sure and i walked the dog like i said i was gonna do <laughs> put him on a leash bent him over embarrassed him knocked him out of the ring and and that's it's fun in games and stuff and like after he's acting all nonchalant and people are like oh he didn't care to be in there he was just there for the check like shut the fuck up you stupid people of course he wants to win a fight of course he goes to win every single fight he's in there saying talking shit the day before saying i can't fight and i, I bent him over on the ground embarrassed him 
put him on the canvas and and now he's still like talking shit saying all of these things blah, 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 acting like he doesn't care because of course that's how he's gonna play it he's gonna act like he doesn't care but really i embarrassed him i embarrassed the legend is that why you're still going so hard on him like it sounds like you're still kind of angry because i thought after the <laughs> fight you're supposed to be cool and stuff we even got to see real nate in the ring afterwards when your cameraman fought the disown cameraman he 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 turned into a grandma and he did one of these he goes stop hey stop fighting Stop fighting. They were fighting. You guys be cool. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. There's like respect and everything, but I, I just hate how the narrative online like changes all of a sudden after the fight. Before it's Jake doesn't have any cardio. Nate's going to drown him. And then I out cardio him, out punch him, Cut. beat his ass, not put him to the ground. And then everyone's eh, like, well, no, he's crazy. not a boxer. He <laughs> jujitsu. Well, you're, you know, you're, used, you're used to that by now. That's nothing new to you. There, there, there is so much shit coming out of, the, out of this fight before and after it. Um, Drake. Drake bet $250,000 uh, on Nate Diaz. Uh, qu qu to quote him, uh, I, I can't bet against a Diaz. Uh, I always knew you and Drake to be, you know, at least pretty good acquaintances did that offend you in any way no not at all I actually liked it because I wanted more people to get rowdy on Nate's side of things and for Nate to have a lot of support going into the fight um it, and it's all f like who cares you know what I'm saying it's like Drake's gonna do whatever he wants like he's a, Sorry, he's a man childish. and he's been a Nate Diaz fan and likes the Diaz brothers since he first started watching fighting and as everyone you know, and so it only makes sense for for him to to ride with Nate. So, and he bet on me and uh, against oh, Tommy yeah, and right. then lost. Oh, right. <laughs> so I think he was probably like, "Oh, I need. I don't know how Jake's looking. Like he didn't look that good last so time." So even when you win, you just continue to lose Drake money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn. yes. Uh, a million things. KSI. KSI. We gotta we gotta get into this. You guys have been going back and forth. Obviously, as soon as the fight ended, it went straight into his uh, normal kind of ridicule. You know, your guys' normal back and forth, uh, talking about his, you know, fight, what, what's going to go on there, exhibition this, exhibition that. Uh, what is your what is your your mind telling you about this uh, KSI versus uh, Tommy Fury fight? Yeah, I mean, it's not a real fight. KSI's this is an exhibition, like plaster. Hold on a second. <laughs> it doesn't real, count. No, it doesn't count. Yeah, but count. it's still a real. He's not fight. doing any. It's not a professional fight, though. So to but me, it's it doesn't still matter. A real fight. It doesn't matter, though. It's like it's an exhibition. It's like it doesn't go on anyone's records. The stakes aren't as high because of that. I'm trying to give you. A yeah, that's true. I'll that give is Logan true. Paul versus but. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay, Every, no, everyone wins. Are they both going to win at the end? Gonna, is, that, is there even a winner the declared? Are like, you saying because the stakes aren't? as high because it's it's not on uh and by the way I, I think it is it's there's a stipulation here there's a reason why it's not going to go on box rec or because it's not an exhibition but none of ksi's fights do so to me it's not boxing until they make it professional fights but they are professional fights no they're not but they're, they're, they're exhibition gloves with no head headgear i'm on the i'm on the same card it's not mine is oh, an shoot. exhibition it's a it's i consider it a real fight consider it or it is yeah, I will it's, be a fighting, it's a difference. I will be fighting my opponent with 10 ounce gloves and no headgear on, and I'm going to beat Dan. his ass. It's, see if he feels real. With, if he, with, if a, he with a decisive up, he winner, up. and it will go on your record. It doesn't go on your record. record. But that, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the number on the record it, 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 not being there doesn't make Represent. it legitimate. Everyone will know. Everyone will know what happened. Well, in a way, I can't. But no one knows like KSI's record. Like, I, no one does even. He doesn't have a record because that's fair. That's like part of the sport. That's what makes it a fucking sport. Is like keeping record of these things and like that's how true. many knockouts, how many this, but, how many but also, that. But also, but also, he's a person who has changed the landscape. As are you. And what did he do? His <laughs> career may not be that of numbers it may not it, it might not matter everyone knows. yeah but that's why like i i don't like to be in the same conversation because what i'm doing is like real that's fair that's fair well here's where you do come back in the conversation he has he has basically said or has said that if he beats tommy he can retire as the king of this spot of this level of boxing because he took down someone that you haven't or couldn't at the time <sighs> that's such a cop-out it's such a cop-out. Yeah. How many fighters in the history of the sport have beaten someone 
and then lost to a different guy who beat that person. He like, might not want to boom, be a boom, fighter, boom. dude. He's not, he's not, I don't think he's like, oh, no, but, but, the, the but, but the thing is, is that he's talked so much shit to me and him and he's I, gotta fight him. regardless of anything else, it's me and KSI that everyone wants that he says all of these things talk shit so much back and forth i'll beat your ass i'll beat this because you do that over there that's cool go and do your thing get your money do do the best you can i i have nothing against that i hope ksi becomes as big as he wants in whatever space he wants to be big at even the beverage space whatever he wants yeah for crushing it congratulations do it i i root him on me and him have to settle our beef, and that's man versus man. He can go do whatever he wants, sure. But if you're going to run away from me and hide behind the, oh, I did this to this person, and you did that to that person, and you're not this, that's a bitch fucking move. And I, and I expect nothing less from him. I expect nothing less from him. Okay, cool. You want to do whatever it is that you want to do? No problem. We can fight whenever. I'm going to rematch Tommy Fury whenever, but... Also, none of this is my goal. My goal is to become world champion and fight the best of the best and to continue boxing two, three, four years from now when a lot of these guys are going to stop. That shit is cool. I lost. Yeah, I'll deal with that as a man. I'm, I'm upset. I'm going to get better from it. But at the end of the day, where my end of the road goal, goal goes it has nothing to do with KSI. What do you think is going to happen in KSI Tommy Fury on October 14th on the prime card? I I'm also on <laughs> in the co-main event, biggest event of the year. <laughs> Fighting Dylan Dennis, <laughs> you fucking scumbag if he shows up. Did you believe it or did that? I uh, I'll I'll have announced it today. He's probably gonna we'll, we'll get into penetrate it. Penetrate. Yeah, what, what do you think is gonna happen? KSI v Tommy Fury. KSI's gonna um, get penetrated. I think also. Tommy Fury stops him in like less than five rounds, probably. I told you this on the plane, and I, I just feel like the simulation goes the other way. I, in this weird life that we're living in, it just it, makes it just, sense it can't, that... It, no, I can't see KSI throwing a wild... <laughs> and it, KSI, I kind of, me, that nah, there's no make sense. It just can't... It can't happen. It, 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 this yeah. is just my opinion. You guys are fighters. I'm not. Tommy Fury has proven to be a, t a tactical boxer. I don't, I don't disagree. Boxer. In, my, in my head, he, I'm like, that he, totally makes he's sense. He's a fighter, and JJ's a fighter, which is why I, I, I'm, I'm so interested in that fight. But but in my eyes, and I, I you know I'm just gonna say how it is. He goes into that the same way Jake goes into it, ha fully capable of beating a fighter, but but may get outboxed because of a little bit of a lack of experience or a little bit of of need for more time to to garner that tactical boxing skill, which Jake will, which he will. The logical part of my brain so agrees with thing. everything yeah. of that. Yeah. But in this weird simulation we're living in, I just feel like KSI is going to get if that he dog does that, But him. if he does that, and we as a community do not, by way of boycott or whatever, force him to fight Jake. <laughs> like, bro, 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 like that has to, if he beats Tommy Fury, bro, that fight has to fucking happen. And by the way, like, everybody makes so much money and it's so good for the community. And I know Jake... I, I know Jake is will sign any fucking contract. Like he'll sign any line. So like if he if he beats Tommy Fury, like that fight has to happen. Dude. Yeah. Like at least if he you wants to, to, as you said, make the claim of being the A side. If he wants to just settle and retire as a winning boxer or fighter or crossover sportsman, that's fine. But to be able to claim that he's a better boxer than Jake Paul, he has to beat Jake Paul. In my, in my opinion. Agreed. Agreed. He is a great fighter. He is so a great fighter. So if he fighter. stops KSI, is still potential for a fight? Yeah, all the fights are there regardless of the outcome of that fight. If he stops KSI, I'm going for Tommy's throat. Uh, dude, they better. If he doesn't fight KSI, bro, I've really been reading that shit. I was in like seventh grade since that shit started. I graduated. If they don't fight, I love, I love that. I waited for that long. Line. Yeah. And if one, if one of them die, bro. I know this one we should, it's not what we should be worrying about, but that's probably what I'm going to be worrying about. If one of them die, we didn't get to see the fight. I'm going to be pissed. I don't want to dragging it for about 32 air, like, years. Tommy I'm about Fury's to be 45. On my fucking radar. I have him in my scopes. I wanted it when Jake was fighting him. And I'm going to be back in the conversation, which I'm fucking stoked about. Yeah, dude. October 14th, I'm fighting Dylan Dan. You just jump him, too, yeah. at that point. The both of you just. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do something. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish him off first. I got to handle that business first. We'll see, bro, because uh, you definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight from me. 
and I've been so lenient in giving you your opponents. <laughs> And I think it's but my it's not wait it's not your option to give me my opponents. <laughs> you you haven't fought anyone. You don't fight. You don't fight real fights. It's just not your option to give me my opponents. You're not even a fighter. Like you do exhibitions and lost like four years ago. <laughs> so it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz wrong, have been talking about that for years, and then you popped up and were like. No, now it's my turn. I want that fight, and then start talking shit, and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone, and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. I think I'm better than you, and I think Nate chose you for a reason, and I think everyone knows that. Even what do you in, mean? In, even in even in here. But what have you done to prove that you're better than me? Well, I don't know. Went toe to toe eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time. What do you think happens if you fight Floyd Mayweather? I would <laughs> knock him out, bro. One hundred percent. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. You you think because you lost a fight to Floyd Mayweather that you're better than me at boxing? You said I won the fight. I in brother. person <laughs> when I was watching it, I thought so. But then yeah, watching it back, it's like okay, I had like a biased point of view, like sitting there in person. This is the first time I've heard you say that. You're yeah, switch, but because we switch, never talked about you're just it. Switching up like that, the whole internet saw you repeatedly throughout the past two years say that I won that fight. And now yeah, you're saying the I'm opposite because I'm rooting for you. But like, if you want to know the truth, yeah, like I'm gonna ride or die for you on my shield. Yeah, hundred percent. And afterwards, when I saw that you lost it on TV, people in interviews would still be like, "What do you think?" I'm not gonna be like, "No, I watched it back and he, I thought he lost." No, he fucking won because you're my brother. I don't disagree, but the fact is, I went toe to toe for eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time, and you're not able to see how good I was in that fight. And yes, I'm in the WWE currently, but I like <laughs> boxing. A lot. And I think I'm really good. And I'm excited I get to show it again on October 14th on the Prime Park <laughs> in Manchester with the co-main event, KSI vs. Tommy Fury, Logan Paul vs. Dylan Dennis. But um But for you no, to no, no, for I, but I, I yielded, bro. And I'm I'm tired of I'm tired of I'm tired of not being picked because you're an easier fight. That is I'm, that whoa, is that what you, is that what you really think in your head? I'm Jay. I think I think you I, I'll say this. I think you That's, have more to I think Logan, I think you have more to prove. I think you have more to prove. I think you, you did go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd disagree. Mayweather. I don't disagree. I think you need to still prove to the people, to the community, to the world that you have the ferociousness to put a man down. Yeah. And, I, and I, I I'm mean, not saying you're wrong. I'm disagree. not saying you're biased, I, unbiased, whatever. But once you once you sink your teeth and draw blood, put a man down, this conversation changes dramatically. It gives you... And, and, I don't disagree okay. with you. And that's what I fully intend to do on October 14th. Um, but I'm saying... You, you had your chance with Tommy. You did. You had it, right? I have not. I've not, I've not gotten to eat at all, you know? Like, I, I thought yeah, I had I that, Nate, that Nate fight locked up. You took it. I said, okay, go for it. T I wanted the Tommy fight. Wait, wait, JJ but said, I, I didn't. said he wanted it. I didn't I said, take, okay, a, I didn't take a fight from you that wasn't necessarily yours. It's whoever's, it, it, it's in the ethos. But people, motherfuckers are avoiding me. They are avoiding me or, or picking someone else, and that's obnoxious. Is and, there, and, is and, there... and, and everyone, everyone secretly knows why. No one wants to say it because I, because I have an 0 one record, and I wasn't able to knock out the best fighter of all time. But I think it's fucking obvious, bro. I'm very athletic, and I've I mean, he also lost to KSI. The hang of boxing in the past KSI. two years after beating fighting the goat, and and I'm excited to show that. And and granted, do I still have something to prove? Absolutely. But if for whatever reason it doesn't go in KSI's favor. The story arc, the vengeance arc of avenging my business partner and brother is right there. I think I, you, eat, I think yeah. you just I think hey, you just want to beat that'd Tommy be to, to be able to say that you're better than me at boxing. Well, I'll never fight you, and I don't want to fight JJ again. But but I think that's like I think that's more so what it's sounding like it is. But I but it, like but I, it's it's crazy for you to think that people are avoiding you. But Nate chose you over me. Why would, yeah, because, no, no, no. Why would Nate do that? But Ariel Hawani asked him to his face. And he said because his brother hasn't fought anyone in a real fight. He hasn't knocked out any MMA fighters. He wanted the most real, professional, legitimate fight. That's what he said. Nothing, but, nothing, nothing that I do in the boxing. And that's what he said. And that's or, what he said behind the scenes, too. But nothing that's I, also what he said behind the scenes, too. But but that he yo, literally yo. said, hey, Nate, his manager said, hey, we're not go, we're not fighting Logan. Nate wants this real fight. That's exactly what they what said. Is, because I do WWE. Is completely unrelated to my boxing career. Well, well, it just—it just is. It just is, and and people know the pay-per-view numbers I put up. 
What? They're, they're fucking big, dude. But you want a great like, promoter. What, what pay per view numbers though? Like it, one point two with Floyd. Yeah, but that's Floyd. K that's with Floyd. KSI two. One point one with K K KSI, KSI two is three hundred K. Every WWE event that I'm in has been their highest grossing and most viewed. I think this is gonna go go in circles. I think, but it's, li, li, but li, li, it's, but listen, it's free. Like listen, it's a for, free a, event. For, for a fight. No, no, WWE is people. It's nine 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 dollars on Peacock. No, that's not free, brother. For, listen, for a fight right for a fight right now, for a fight right now, for somebody to break over to cross over into the boxing boxing space, Jake Paul to seasoned veterans of the of combat sports makes more sense as a fight. It just does. They may have they may have questions about draw potentially because they don't have a record to call upon besides Floyd, which which some of the points he's bringing up are, matter. What I'm going to say is once you do this next fight, you have a lot more leg to stand on. You have to go in there, you need to <laughs> I don't even need to say this. You need to do what is obviously going to happen to fucking he Dylan needs to Dennis. penetrate him. And then you and then you can go in Rapidly. and then you can go and build that that Make him snore. proof of concept <laughs> again yeah, and yeah, draw, yeah. right? It's like dude, this yeah. kid's been on every fucking Sports Illustrated, every ESPN magazine. He is the face of boxing right now. You are uh, the face. You are the so, face so of that's, w So that's why I'm curious because because you are the face of of at least this weird like influencer crossover i would it's deeper arm. than that it's, it's whatever you want to call it because you are the face of it and i can also sell an insane fucking number of pay-per-views and i'm not in uh, my potential opponent's head wouldn't it be an easier fight to fight me and yet they're still choosing you what do you mean wouldn't you think oh one of them has a losing record and he can sell the same, if not more, pay-per-views. One of them has a winning record and can sell a good amount of pay-per-views as well. Wouldn't, isn't No, but I, I've proven to sell more pay-per-views consistently, time and time again. I'm active. I have a promotional company. We do, you know, bigger deals, big, like I huge just, guarantees, like a it. lot of revenue. Too, I don't buy it. What do you mean you don't buy it? I just don't think that. It's I a think, more, it's more, it's more I legitimate. Think, I think we, like we have a, me. we have a a better production we are doing it on a consistent basis i'm active you're inactive you don't have the momentum in the fight world you're not as respected as a fighter you haven't won knockout of the year you haven't won breakout athlete of the year you haven't done exactly. any of these things that's what i'm saying don't you think that he would go no they oh, want the oh, biggest they, fight they want the biggest it fight it would still be the biggest fight and you no, know that no 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 that's why none Come of these on. that's why I, you're I have not like one of the top 10 grossing biggest fights ever what are you talking about Especially now after the WWE promotion angle and the work I've been doing there, I've garnered a fan base that's going to want to see me perform in boxing as well. Well, we're going to see. It's yeah, but obvious. No, but, but no watch, one, but they don't watch think the numbers. We're going like, to we're going to see. Watch the numbers. We're see. Watch the numbers in the that the right. does on but, October fourteenth. But, but even Cyber he's no, 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 no. Even even when you sell on this next event. You can't even take credit for the numbers. That's the thing. Par at all? Partiality. No. At all? No. You, like, what does? What do you sell? That's the. Di okay. Cool. You did one point. I could say I did one hey, point hey. eight million with Tyson. We may. We may never. Wait. What? I did one point eight million with Tyson. Because he was the undercard for the Tyson. Exactly. Card. So it's like you could say all of these. I could say these things. Boo. Eighth biggest event ever. Cool. Like. But because, I, I've done the same. But, but because that's and the it's way. It's more expensive than that fight. But because that's the way I weave my business. I am strategic with my partnerships and amplification. That's part of the shtick. The battle like, of I egos. don't miss, and I and I won't miss when we sell pay per views ever. I'm a sick promoter and an easier fight, which is why I'm confused why anyone would choose you. An easier fight. I just don't get the. He logic. also to, to his point, he also has an active business team that is approaching these deals constantly 24/7 that was, that, was, that was a big mistake a promotional yeah. arm a production arm that that goes up to these uh, to this person's camp and says this fight is going to go down on this date xyz yeah. and be handled in xyz for fashion well, and, and relationships you know what I'm bro like people don't like to work with your team People hate your team. I could say the same thing. They they hate your team. Say the okay, thing. let's let's let's. You could out. you could let's, but you you could out. say that you could say the same thing, but the evidence doesn't show that. So it's like no, let's let's no. chill out. You have a fight coming up. Let's talk about it again after that fight. Let's this is we're going in circles here, and it's getting it's getting fucking I, I personal. No no no, I disagree. I disagree. Nikisa banned the zone from mentioning or bringing in Prime to the stadium. They said I would get kicked out if I brought a Prime bottle. That's fucking ridiculous, dude. Do you think I would ever ban you from promoting any of your shit at any of my events? That's ridiculous. You, wait, that's because that's because of the, who the partner, competing the, the competing dog, partner was dog. for Mark the event. Mark texted us four times. 
with stipulations listed out paragraphs yeah get over it like and so meanwhile come on, me i'm your brother building a oh business. yeah you, you're my brother building who's, a business you love to play both sides who's bro. Yielded what's here? the what other you side play both sides, who's sides? Who's side am I playing? you play both sides what's and it's the other like, side that i'm playing i'll partner with all of your enemies like i have bro my have life is all, my life your life is your life if you want to see you love to play both you love to play both sides you I'm explaining my sides. rationality for one and, and, and the other. And it caused issues in our last event when you when we had other betting partners and drink partners and you walked out with it with the, the betting and the drinks. Is it so it caused to issues. wear what I'm wearing? It caused Come issues. Come on, it's not a you can't tell me what to wear. What do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, you can't I, tell I'm me not what to wear. Logan, Logan. Yeah, but, but if, bro, if they're paying chill, us, chill. if they're paying one us, fucking second, chill. if they're paying no, us millions of dollars and they say, hey, but we don't want this person to be doing this stuff at the event. With Mike, trying to, be, Mike trying to be the mediator. I couldn't is so bring funny, in a prime bro. bottle. The zone who, by the way, on the Misfits card, KSI's event, promoted the fuck out of your fight against Nate Diaz. The zone was not allowed to promote the prime card. That's ridiculous. Who, who, who's ask was that? It was Nikisa's dude. He, he's, Nikisa's on your team. He's not on Team Paul. He's on Team Jake. And we're a family. And he knows that. And so, yeah, bro, he doesn't get Wait, along but with why, everyone but either. But why, why would I want to promote his event, it's KSI's event? Because I'm on it. I'm on the other yeah, card. Yeah, but they could, they could promote you versus Dylan, but you guys weren't even announced yet. But I'm on the card. We announced that. Yeah, but this is the thing is like it's all it, like you understand why but then like you just don't want to accept the reality no the reality is the tables were turned the misfits event promoted your fight against nate diaz and you refused to promote ksi's fight wait but, against, but if against, they want to if they if the if the zone is on if misfits is on the zone and they promote our event that has like okay cool but our fight is on the zone too and by the way that's that's super fucking whack of the zone as well it's not just you guys i think it's i think it's lame that they yielded to whose ever request that was no because it, yeah we're it's our event we're, we're in control of what goes on there of course i just think it's lame it's and, and also i'm not gonna i'm not gonna promote their their event what the fuck why would i do that that's but, stupid because they fuck. did it to you and it yeah all because helps. worse because i don't know why the fuck they would do that either because they're not good at business they don't have that <laughs> out in their fucking contract clause the fucking idiots that's their fucking problem stupid fucks we're smart, Stupid. diligent. We think of fucking everything that goes on if in all of our smart, events. If you were really smart, you'd know that we are all doing this. This isn't an or space. It's an and space. You don't have. We don't have to be competing against each other and and, and no, because I, I don't I, different I, logos and not letting me do certain things and a brand I'm building. Like, bro, but, that, but that's but that's the brands. That's the brands getting involved. I have no say in that. I don't give a fuck. But if they request something and they're paying millions of dollars to but, be the but title the, but sponsor. But the request is this. Your brother can't bring a prime bottle into the stadium. And if he does, he will have be escorted out by security. You be escorted out. That's ridiculous. But you have, you have a prime card coming up soon. Obviously, so why do you said, care so me, much like me, about like. Let me pose why, this question. Why do you care? What do you care more about? Going to my event or having a prime bottle in your hand? I care that it was such a big deal for your team that I'm trying to build a multi-billion dollar business and your team, who I see every single day, At whose had event? an issue with it. At whose event? Your event. Exactly. My event. I'm your brother. Yeah, exactly. So respect what's going on at my event. And I did. Okay. I thought it was ridiculous. Okay. But th that's just the name of the game. It's business. And you have a prime card coming up. If you walked in with a Celsius headband to it, you probably would say that's unacceptable. I don't give a fuck. You getting paid millions of dollars by by Celsius? Yeah, they're our competitor, but like, dude, come on. We're, we're all, but we're but all if you but but, but I don't I dude I. But if you request it, if it's different because I'm not in control. Who signed it, the contract? And if they did, was there a contract that said was I in the the contract that was signed? I don't with know. Celsius in the zone because that's fucked know. up. You can't no. sign it on behalf of a third party. No, and no, the way, no. The, the way that we got text from Marcos sure sounded like someone signed a contract that said Logan Paul, if he shall come to this event, will not have prime. You can't do that. You can't tell me what to wear. You can't tell me I'm going to be escorted out of the venue if I bring a certain thing. Technically, they can. I, technically, they can. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, but I just found it. I just found it crazy. I feel like I'm at my friend's house and my their parents are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it, you know. Well, Should so I go what, home, bro? So what do we do? What do we, what do, we do? Where do we go from this? Because like, because like, I saw this coming. I saw this coming. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> so I mean, are, are, how, how do you, how are you feeling? 
Well, about what? Just the conversation we just had. I think you have a lot of trauma to unpack, <laughs> probably. But um, I've been I've been wanting to ask all my friends. Is Marcos here? I mean, whatever. But like, I've been wanting to like have this conversation with you. Like it, a month ago, it just like camp and da da da. You're traveling, etc. But yeah, where do you think my trauma stems from? Do you want me to be really honest? <laughs> mm, you, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like, cause I mean, that's like, we could beat around the bush, or it could just be like I don't know. I don't know if there's the right place to do it. Yeah, but. I know there's fucking twenty people watching. <laughs> well, there's more people watching right now, also on Impulsive on the YouTube channel. Yeah, as well. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's an off-camera conversation, cause like I think this could be some real takeaways. Yeah. Can I? Can I just <laughs> tell you something that's odd and funny to me it's not funny but we've had jake on the show so many times and there's been so many moments where he's exhibited similar motions or desires to argue on the show or whatever and then we've come down to this need to unpack his trauma and it's weird to now kind of like watch the brothers in like different seats saying like yo there's some stuff that you need to look into it, it, also that's not it's not saying anybody's right or wrong like you guys are just are just talking about stuff but at the end of the day you're brothers at the end of the day, you guys, I don't need to fucking tell you that. I also think you love each, I, you fucking I, love each other always. But but that's where I get confused though of playing both sides because you love to play the brother card when it's like convenient. But then it's like, oh, I want to go like at, I want like my get back at Tommy Fury, and you're like, no, 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 no. I need to do my career. I need to. Do, I've been sitting on the sidelines. You're taking all these fights from me, like. Does that worry you at all? That this is then then this is his. Then when I'm like, space? wait, but I'm your brother. Then you're like, no, 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 you're not. I do this based on balance as best as I can because we're in a space where we're gonna overlap. There's not that many us's walking around in this combat space, right? It's me, you, KSI, maybe Tommy if he's in the conversation, but there's gonna be overlap, right? Nate was a part of the conversation for a second. You got it. I yielded, even with JJ. I wanted Tommy, JJ and I talked about it. He said he wanted Tommy, all right, I yielded. I'm tired of Stop fucking yielding, bro. I wanna get back in the conversation. And, and at the end of the day, if you want to fight Tommy Fury again, fucking fine, right? You, you, I, I, I respect that you want to be the boxer in the family and you have this career that you want to pursue. When can I fight Tommy fucking Fury, dude? Like, when can I do that? Ever? Uh, I, I just think, like, the, the storyline is, is there. Like, we started off, like, got a contract, like, made it all happen. It's a massive event. My plan was Nate Diaz for years. And then, like, you kind of go away in the fight world, and then you, like, pop back up all of a sudden and are like, I'm ready again. But yeah. and, and it's, like, doesn't necessarily, like, work like that, I guess. I don't fucking know. No, that's fair. But I go, I go for Tommy. Nate was already on the back burner. Boom. It just happens. The deal comes together. You got to go for Tyson. <laughs> it's I, like. I do MMA with Tyson. Well, just, listen, ju listen, and, and just, is, like, and just, like conversations like with with floyd like that's a fight that you you got like who cares like why did you fight floyd why wouldn't i why i think you could beat him after we tried to make it happen he's just a nightmare to deal with in business like you don't say not professional <laughs> at all <laughs> don't say. yeah why would he do it not get paid nah, nah, so because nah. you so, could because you could also you could also get a a much healthier percentage than i did i got fucking gypped in that fight so this conversation changes dramatically after he wins this next fight uh, like like he in, in my eyes the answer to this question is why can't i why can't i why can't i once he earns it he has much more to fucking bring to the table like like put a man down come back and say yo this is my next fight this is my next fight this is my strategic uh, uh plan and how i want to move in the boxing space and then all of a sudden you guys have a conversation this has been his this has been his lane his dedication his dream his drive everything and so like I get it, like similarly to you in WWE or with Prime or whatever it is, having somebody then come up to you as you're on this route to guaranteed strategic success that you're dumping your entire fucking life into and be like, yo, I'm I'm, I'm gonna come back in now. I can, I can understand why he has defenses there. I understand it. But yeah, once and you it's, like try, it's like yeah. trying to like even snipe the Tommy Fury fight like after I lost to him, like right there on the spot versus like letting the storyline play out, like you versus KSI. You, draw boom let it play out let it see what happens like i mean bro obviously my <laughs> initial instinct after that loss was like let me avenge my brother i don't think that's insane to ha to think that 
I like that fight. I love that fight. It's I incredible. actually love like that fight. It's incredible. Incredible. I love that fight. It's good. It writes itself. I think you want a rematch. I totally get it. And maybe I was a little late on Tommy. Actually, no, I wasn't because I gave it to JJ. I was being a good fucking partner. And I'm, I'm, you know, he's he's active, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Is he more active than but you? But I want to I make something yeah, clear sure. because I want to make something clear because there is there is this narrative win, online. You know, you're supporting your brother's enemies. Like, dude, you're living your life. You're your own entity. And so am I. And we have a lot in common. We are also extremely fucking different. If I had a beef that ran its course with someone and I don't want to have that beef anymore and I actually get along and like this human and want to build something, if I grew up loving Dana White and the UFC and I get a chance to part, like I'm going to take these opportunities and, 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 and I'll always be a ride or die no matter what. But I don't know if I always have to yield and bend my personal ways because we are brothers and that's the sole but, reason. But this is exactly what I'm saying. You're literally painting the picture of you pl are playing both sides. I, I when disagree. we're it's, I th when I it's think, convenient I think you're for you, comparisons. but when it's convenient for you, we're brothers. But then when it's not, you're you do the exact opposite of like, but we're completely separate. So like, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do as well. I'm building a business, but that's what I'm saying. You play both sides like very well, like extremely well. I don't, it, t to me, it doesn't feel like I'm playing both sides. And maybe that's why you're saying I do it extremely well is because that's just the reality of the situation and people can see that both sides. You're Jake Paul. I'm Logan Paul. We are different people. We have different interests. We have different friends. But then like, but, but even just 15 minutes ago, then all of a sudden you're like, but we're brothers. And we are brothers. He's he's that sentence can, can end with, and we are brothers, yes. But where does that rank? Because sometimes you let it rank down here, I and sometimes you want it to be number one when it's convenient for you. When, I think, when... When Prime can't go into the building, we're brothers! When you want to partner with Dana White and KSI, you're your own entity. I think, I think, when we as brothers no longer become additive to each other, and it feels like you or I are trying to take from one another, and I don't believe I've ever tried to take from you, whereas you, I feel like, have tried to take from me, at least maybe not you, but maybe your team. That's when I don't, I feel but like, like it falls apart. Uh, like, like Didn't he this take being girl? in Alyssa Netflix Lance? documentary, like millions of views, me starting the documentary saying I'm drinking Prime, me posting about Prime as soon as it launched, it's, carrying it's, it around it's, everywhere it's, with me until I got a deal. No, and I appreciate, so it's I like, appreciate I don't, all of it, I, but like, the stadium thing rubbed me the wrong way. And, but do you, do you but get rightfully what I'm saying? So, rightfully so, because if there was a number one sponsor, like let's say Nike was sponsoring the event and was like, hey, Logan's going to be on camera. Can he not wear Adidas? Then it wouldn't piss you off. From a business standpoint, that makes sense, Logan. It does. I, it does. The person that's going to get I, the I, most attention does. in the arena besides Jake is you no, showing up to I the don't fight. Want, I, my identity is my identity. My, yeah, but my you can suits and passions and businesses. Well, but you can certainly press pause on it for you can certainly press pause on it for one night to just support Jake and then walk out. Yeah, and I understand and I, and that, I, and I absolutely will. But and do, did, but do, and you did. But do do you see what I'm saying? Is anything I'm doing hurting you? That sometimes yes, it causes issues because of my brand partner. Yes, because of your brand partner. Yeah. You know how many times Barstool has hit me up? And said, yo, don't fuck with better. And even if they did, I'd say that's my brother's business. He's building it and he's trying to yeah, make a big company. Like, yeah, I don't sponsors, care. Sponsors I don't care. and owned IP are definitely different. Like, it, like you, you, in my eyes, like if there was ever like a question of where the yield ends up, like it would, it would go in term, it would go in in uh, honor of Prime or better. But they don't, they don't, those, they don't say, but they don't, children. but they don't ever say like. Don't fuck with Prime. This it's just like there's literally like they've made two requests in this whole entire relationship. It's literally don't have Prime in his impulsive shot and don't let him bring it to the stadium and make it in all the shots. It's, it's reason in my eyes from brand side, it's reasonable. I think I started this because I'm the one who brought up the Tommy stopping. Well, you just well you just fucking got them through eight months of fucking therapy. So I know. I know. Well, look, when it comes to the fighter thing, I think you guys both need to have that blind confidence that you're going to be the best. And if you don't have that, then you probably shouldn't be a fighter. You should think that if you go through a training camp and you give it your all and you're at your best, you should be able to beat anybody that's in your weight class. And that's normal. You guys should respect that about but, each other. But where does it stop? Caleb, right here. <clears throat> He's about to get serious. At the press conference after your fight against Nate Diaz, 
you said that you'd like to go up against Canelo Alvarez. Oh what gives God, you the fucking right yeah. to call out a 59 and two <laughs> boxer, one of the greatest of all time, who's currently the best boxer in the world, when you've not yet proven yourself as a boxer that he can win those type of fights? Yeah. Because three, <laughs> yeah, because I need the clips. Because three. <laughs> Three years oh. ago when I was calling out Nate Diaz and all of these big names, Anderson Silva, all of these people, and they said, you don't have the right to call them out. And then I manifested it, got I mean, that's still true. in the gym, got hey. to their level hey. and above, and then beat them. Level. It's literally just I'm that repeating the playbook now. I'm predicting what's going to happen three the, more years three from year, now. So, three so I'm going to get to his skill level and beat him. And I have a weight advantage, a size advantage, a height advantage, a reach advantage. It and I like that. he's super skilled. I just went I 10 rounds. That. Me and Canelo can go ten rounds. Like, hey, well, come on. You face off. With, you face off with Canelo today. What happens? Um, I would lose. But in two years, I have the greatest, one of the greatest self belief systems in the world, and I know what I'm capable of. And with this new team, the experience I'm getting in the ring under the lights, I believe in two years I can give Canelo a serious fucking run for his money. Well, he'll always disagree. already be. Older. I think uh, your ability to get better at the craft because of the work you put in is exceptional. Two years. I think two it's years actually one of the things stuff. that made Michael Jordan as good as he is. I watch it, the Netflix series The Last Dance. I watch it before fights. It gets me excited and inspires me. And the one thing I noticed about him, it wasn't necessarily like his athletic ability. Yes, he was ex seriously exceptionally athletic and uh, he worked his ass off, but uh, he had no ceiling. He was able to keep getting better. Even when you thought he was the best he could be, he was able to keep getting better. And I think, I think you might have that. Um, I think the world now is is also realizing that and you had a doc documentary on Netflix that just came out and I didn't realize how many people hadn't really known you or about the things you've done and you Hey, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not even hating. He looked a little worse this match than the other match. Have That's what I thought. A whole new he looked, wor he looked like worse. Your Netflix documentary match. was trending like top 10 for a while it potentially still is untold what well, that, that documentary what there's no way it's not on, gas on, on it's gotta be not having that this dude's life has been crazy well. yeah it's it's crazy uh, and a lot of people texting me and um saying how much they enjoyed it like people from all walks of life i'm getting videos from people have never even knew knew of my name like people i respected growing up and it's just pretty surreal and they they all fuck with this story and um to me, you know, I thought story. it was a good piece. I think that there's so much more to the story that wasn't put in there. And I don't think an hour and 10 minutes could even like do it justice. I think there's so much more story to tell and I'm excited to do that one day. But um, yeah, for the most part, it's cool that people can get this glimpse into this life and kind of see me be a human and see the, the things that I struggle with. I think I'm known as this like crazy, arrogant kid. They see the media headlines, they see all the shit talk, but they don't see the person that's like behind it that actually shows up to work every single day. And uh, I think it made people shed a new light, I guess. You're happy with it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm happy with the outcome of it. I think I I would tell the story differently. Like, it, I don't think they, they don't see it from my point of view and there's so many things that are left out, um, to be honest, but, and it's too short. Like, it, it's kind of just like a, like skipping a rock across a pond. It just touches these points, but doesn't like really go further into them. Doesn't show like the processes, the work. It doesn't reveal like a layer. To me, the the doc is everything that's already out there in the media, that was just put into one piece. Condensed but which I think is important because a lot of the messages I got were like, I didn't, I didn't know that about your brother. I didn't know he he did all this crazy things. Like, dude, seeing all of that in one hour, even for me, I've been there for all of them, was so emotional. You've done some crazy shit seeing Told knockout you. after knockout after knockout and the thing people forget is each of your fights was a, an opponent that could have beaten you and that's why they were so exciting yeah at the time it was like well i don't know and then afterwards it was like, well obviously you won you just, yeah you know <laughs> and, and, and and it's it just like met with I, the Tara harshest Woodley, criticism I, and then you silence them every time in the most victorious fashion it was beautiful i got i got mad emotional dude and uh, 
it, it, it made me extremely proud and, and you, you should be happy with it. I know, I know you weren't necessarily super stoked seeing it for the first time, but yeah, it, it's, it's a W. Well, thank you. No, and when you said that, it made me feel better about it because I, I respect your opinion super highly in terms of like content and Creative. such like that. So I felt really Aww. bad about it oh, coming dude. out. And then when you had that opinion and other people were like, oh no, it's really good and all this stuff, it it definitely made me realize that I was probably overthinking it a lot. I don't know, maybe, but I definitely think the story has so much more to it. And uh, the story's still evolving, but but yeah, it's 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 a good piece. Episode yeah. two comes out. Uh, it might have come out by the time this airs. I want to watch that. So. Well. Uh, it's Johnny Manziel. Who was at your fight? Johnny Football. Who's got a crazy fucking story? There's a lot of people at your fight. I don't even know if you noticed. Uh, mm -hmm. Lance Armstrong. You probably didn't see any of these people. Johnny Johnny Manziel. Uh, Masvidal uh, was sitting in front row, <laughs> which was which was funny. But... Dana White. He's in there with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> a toupee. <laughs> he snuck in. Mm -hmm. Uh question for you how do you end up with a black eye when you're the one who used the brass knuckles in a fight yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know how any of that happened i i oh that's why what do I'm i saying. look worse than you and you had a fight that's what i was I trying to figure out you had brass knuckles i don't know did you get you got punched in the face he kicked me in the face Jesus. i think it was a kick in the first in the first two minutes but i liked it <laughs> i like it i like i like that that actual pain that you got to be careful out there <laughs> so i've learned and I've, I've gotten better with the mechanics of of uh my wrestling moves um that summer slam was fun i was really tired in there i was exhausted for some reason and especially like trying to trying to focus on the match and and perform while i'm tired and also knowing the weight of the night ahead because that wasn't even the most exciting part of the night for me you know, we got to we got to fly to the next flight thing. Flight to Dallas to get to. I, I literally exited the ring, still sweating, huffing and puffing, into the SUV, onto the jet Straight to Dallas. To the jet. Made it with time to spare. Yeah, it was it was a it was a night to remember, dude. Most watched SummerSlam of all time. Yeah. Highest grossing, most social views, highest merchandise sales. I mean, every single possible accolade. Um, I think Roman I, Reigns keeps the crown. I think I think we got the most uh, viewed social clip as well. Uh, not well, not we. Well, I was I was in it. Um, <laughs> Samantha Irvin, the, yeah. the ring announcer, yeah. who was my opponent's fiance. Yeah, I was like kind of taunting her <laughs> beforehand. I was like, you know, you're gonna be saying Logan Paul's the winner after I beat your man. And there's a video of her announcing right. me winning the match after. And your winner <laughs> is Logan Paul. Logan Paul, and she has just a look of torture and sadness <laughs> despair on her face but it's still delivering that energy of a ring announcer and i think that clip got like 30 million plus views or so like people really responded to our match and and, and ricochet is so good super athletic. the guy's so good like he made it he made it easy to look good and it was it was a fun match man um and i'm interested to see how this conversation continues in my wwe career story arc happens with this boxing weaving in you know because i want to hop back and forth i don't know if it's ever been done you know i don't think it's ever like a, like a dual combat sport back and forth yeah it's cool i want to find a way to weave the conversations especially since um wme just bought wwe, WWE yeah. and and the ufc it's all kind of like we're all becoming family it's interesting which is another which is another good question by the way i i got an accolade myself coming out of this last weekend i got um the highest liked comment on the photo of you jumping off the top rope because you were so high what'd said, you say you said i wish i was that i could be that high no i said I'm a crack he's addict. even higher than i was in 2006. no so, way yeah <laughs> yeah and it was got a three thousand likes oh so, nice you know, nice we nice. all we all out here winning yeah congrats uh, bro. thanks man appreciate it's it beautiful gonna try to cash those in to pay rent this month um M mma for well, you specifically, because you also, and I got a couple more points here. You called out uh, the potential of Nate Diaz in, in the MMA octagon. Smart cage. Smart cage. Does that, I mean. What's that? The what PFL that smart cage. What is that? That's the PFL. That's where the, the fights take what, place. What's the shape? It's, it's a smart cage. Oh, so the but, shape of a smart. What is the shape of the It's circular. Cage? Oh. Meet me in the circle. 
I mean, it that's a, a real ring. Same. Like when we say boxing ring, it's not a ring, it's a square. It's, it's a squared circle. circle. It's, called <laughs> it's called a smart cage. Yeah. I'm What's smart powerful? about it? Have you ever drank smart water? Yeah. It's and you just feel like super smart after. <laughs> when you guy. fight in there, it's your <laughs> IQ goes up. <laughs> Oh, it's like alpha brain. It has electricity uh, flowing <laughs> through it. Could you beat Nate Diaz in MMA? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but in a year, maybe. <laughs> I, 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 but honestly, I will will it into existence, and I will work so fucking hard that I, I could do it. And, and the, the best part about it is the MMA matches, obviously, start standing up like a boxing match. He can't hurt me with punches. His kicks aren't going to be strong. If his punches aren't strong, how is there, his kicks going to be? What about uh, that guillotine? Because he tried it on you. <laughs> yeah, of course you can get a guillotine on someone when they're not expecting it in a fucking <laughs> boxing match. Did he Duh. actually cinch it in? Yes. No, he was really choking Yeah, he you. was actually choking me. <laughs> what would have happened was if hilarious. Jake started stabbing? Like, what if he submitted you? He would have been No, I, I would have I picked him up and slammed Were him. Were you pissed? He, no, I mean, it was the 10th round. Like, he's being funny. But, yeah. It's but like, you, lost, you lost, like, a couple breaths that you would have had. Yeah, but, like, I was fine. It was honestly, it was funny, but if I can prepare for it, the crazy thing about it, I've, I've done the calculations in my head. We start standing up. I learn kicks, right? I learn how to defend kicks. I'm beating his ass standing up clear as day in boxing. He tries to get close to me. I can just stick and move. He tries to take me down. My takedown defense and takedowns are better than his. I have way higher wrestling experience than his. He's not going to be able to take me down. He's slow, so I'm going to see the shots coming. Boom. Block the shots. He can't take me down to submit me. It becomes a standing match. Three five-minute rounds. Easy. I just fought for 30 minutes. That's only 15 minutes. I can work twice as hard in half the amount of time, expend twice as much energy to keep him away from me while punching, not letting him take me down, and he can't. I will just simply have to watch out for his uh, guillotine because that's he has a really good guillotine. So you've already fought this fight. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Been no, one hundred percent. And that's why. Seriously, with, the, worth with exactly eight that, to nine that, months of training, I know I can do ideas in eight MMA. Eight to nine months of training. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's your a stretch. That's inspiring. You. I will say this. Here's my my kudos for you. Hardest working person I know. And, and honestly, like, hopefully that, that came through in the doc because whether it's sobriety, whether it's camp, never-ending camp, whether it's running every day, whether it's breath work, whether it's the <clears throat> 9,000 other layers of shit that goes into you being the, the best you can be when you get into that squared circle. Like, dude, there's I, – I, I'm not around a lot of fighters, but I don't know anybody that works as hard at, at anything as you do, bro. Thank you. Well, thank you. That means a lot. I think that's a testament to, yeah, like where I've gotten. And that's one, honestly, like not, I mean, not to harp on it more, but that's one of the things I was upset about with the Netflix doc because I don't think it showed how hard I work. Not I, training I think it just like, uh, I th yeah, like even just like showing the rigorous monotonous schedule like over and over again for like one minute, it could have done it in like 60 seconds, but it didn't really like reveal that behind the scenes, which I was disappointed about. Whatever. But yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Sweetie with a ring card. Yes. How? Um, so what? It was this like so idea. I'm I'm friends with uh, her manager, and she loves fighting, like being around it, being involved with it. And we just like found a way to to make it work. And they did the deal with with Fansly, and so she like launched her account on Fansly oh, as a part of like being a ring card girl with it. And so it, like all tied together. Oh, she's about to get money, dude. Yeah. Because there was a lot. A lot of eyeballs. combo and a lot of eyeballs. If she likes fighting so much, would she ever fight Astrid Wet? Fuck <laughs> 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 Astrid Wet. Sweetie, maybe. Sweetie versus Astrid Wet on the prime guard. So what now? You got that girlfriend? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. I got to meet her. She's cool. She's, She's really cool, nice. Bro. Super very, nice. Very nice. And very equally sweet. driven, which was awesome to see. Yeah, her, super hardworking. So dedicated. Around like all year long training twice a day super inspiring um yeah i don't know man just gonna just gonna take some time to chill honestly i've been going hard need to like reflect on some things I, gonna be working be, um on some youtube videos like still posting weekly still doing bs every yes. week or every other week and growing better have a lot to 
focus on there. I've been like absent from all of my business calls. I like stopped doing all of them for this camp because I realized I was spending too much time and energy on it. So back to the business calls, back to the business meetings and uh, the grind. Yeah, just I don't working know. them kicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if we can actually pull it together, that's what I'm going to have to literally start training MMA, which is hilarious. You guys should just start kicking each other after the show. <laughs> Can I ask one last uh, personal question? Sorry, because we may need this in there because we're we only have six minutes of usable <laughs> footage from the show. Uh, you got an uh, extremely hot hip hop artist, Lil Dirk. I, I couldn't have said that in a whiter way. To walk you out <laughs> to your appearance in that boxing program, bro. Uh, that was all cool. songs he chose. And, he uh, chose. Uh, yeah, me and Dirk have been cool for a long song. time. We've always like wanted to do something together and the stars just like finally aligned where he was free didn't have any shows i was having a fight and uh, he, he just was down to do it and uh we just made oh, it yeah. Oh, yeah he's, he's super so cool, cool guy he's super conversational I, with those rappers sometimes uh, you can't hang around them some of them they're dangerous playing, <laughs> you know trying to be cool guy he, he was he was conversational he was cool relatable yeah yeah he's had my back in like a lot of different random instances and just like always been super loyal to me and like yeah he's just a great guy great great guy the voice and he, he announced his deluxe album that's dropping soon um i wish i had the name of it uh he almost wore it on healed his shirt. almost healed yep. deluxe album dropping soon I want to make sure that was in there for Pete for unnecessary balling. Let's go. Shout out Pete. Yeah, Shout out Pete because I got to run into him at the fight, which was cool. Davidson. But, um, yeah, that was, that was dope to see. And then uh, a question for you because we could get this to eight minutes um, is in the crowd right near where Dirk was sitting, uh, you you were sitting and there was a that was your second fight of the evening. There was an actual in crowd say, altercation can, that, that went down. I don't know if you fight. saw this, but there was someone from the uh, opposing aisle who tried to get at Logan Paul in this audience. They tried to put hands on your brother. Uh, it was it, you know Logan. You could run us through it, but there was there was a Greg Paul involvement. Um, there was a bunch of people involved in the brawl of. The I night. ran into it. You were like, Jeff, let's get out yeah, of here. I wanted to get right out. I was like, oh, and, and more importantly, I see action. Neil was. You remember Neil I came was, up to you? I was like, yo, behind you. Whatever that means. Just a just a goon trying to make a name for himself, you know. No, I thought no that need to make he, it go the chair. Further. I thought he hit you with a chair in the eye. No, that was that was Jake's friend that <laughs> full on WWE <laughs> threw a chair and threw Shout it out, out, out Jasper, dude. That I, was I sick. said I said that's respect. Yeah, someone had to do something. Was beautiful. <laughs> Jeep, I was surprised Jeep he didn't did. get dropped. Jeep, bro. First off, he went to smack Dad in the face, and it was the weakest strike. Yeah, I've he ever missed. Seen I don't even my, think it landed in my life. And Greg, with one hand, like taps him, and he sprawls out over like eight <laughs> chairs and tries to get up. And a cop was coming in. I could tell he had bad intent, and I don't know this guy. And it's middle of round nine. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he but was trying to fight someone else too. I, I'm curious, like the, when he goes back with his boys, the, is is he cognizant of the series of L's he just took? <laughs> like instead of being like, "Yo, we fucked him up, bro. We went in there, gave him business." Like he go, he, was he like, "Yo, that didn't go as planned." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got knocked over. <laughs> I don't even think someone like that cares or like comprehends reality. He's probably like an NPC. I like, said, just a goon trying to make a name for you. Res respect. He took out so many chairs. So many chairs, bro. I've never he was full seen. spider. He was full spider. And the chairs and are like slippery on each other. He couldn't get up. They were just falling over. It was like dom watching dominoes fall over, bro. It's just, uh, you know, these, 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 these fights are rowdy. I will say, coming from a WWE Sorry, event, we're like, yeah, the fans are, go Sorry. fucking ape shit. But I feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I walked into your arena immediately after, and there's a there's an extremely different tone of fandom. Yeah. They are aggressive. Fight fans all, for some oh, reason, yeah, think the that they yeah. can fight. Yeah, 100%. Yo, you got to be fucking in there with the upper. Good. Shut the fuck up. You don't have no idea what you're talking about. Like, it, it, was, it, feel, it just feels like like not safe to be there. Well, yeah, it's a hostile environment of people. Like, Nate Diaz's fans are exactly like Nate Diaz. They're punks. So, like, they don't, and they don't care. And there's, like, yeah. 15,000 of them. Their energy's feeding I'm off each other. Punk. And it's just, like, these, like, people, like, just <laughs> He's ready to word? fucking that's, grab that's their dicks. I, he he like, must have said it. Like, when I walked in the press conference, there was dudes, like, <laughs> we saw girls and that. I was like God, <laughs> yeah dude girls. I was like bro like dicks. you're like 35 year old dudes like <laughs> in the crowd but they that actually it was like Fox this outfit. 
<laughs> filming for their fucking no, five they, followers. They got you paid, bro. Um, all right, all right. That's it. I, that's it. I want to wrap up. Um, Any more on Dylan Dil Nanis? He's going to plug it. Is this dude fucking yeah, we coming to the fight, bro? That's my concern. That's my concern. Is he coming to the that's fight, my concern. bro? I'm, I'm convinced he's not going to show put up. A, so, put so a clause like, that is so deep in that thing, like, like he loses an arm. The clause is this. If he, if he pulls out because of some sort of injury that he fakes, a doctor of our choosing has to verify the injury, and then if he is indeed faking, That'd be he has cool. to pay hundred thousand dollars. There is a, there is a pull out clause, and he has a hundred thousand dollars. No, that's the other issue. He, he he's broke. This guy sucks. He's the parasite of the MMA he's not combat worth world. Thousand dollars, and that's why I I took the fight initially because. Inshallah, if he does show up, <laughs> I get to be the one. Yeah, the finish him off. I get to Shut be the one the to, to take an eraser and remove him from existence. His name will never be uttered. What if again. he doesn't? Though? He'll die that <laughs> night twice. Because I thought he was going to be gay. <laughs> and but he didn't do his that. His name, his legacy, it all disappeared. Legacy. We're not, that word can't even be in the same sentence as Dylan, Dylan Dennis. But I, I figured he's a good opponent because he's a punk. He's claiming he can fight, but he never shows up to fights. But if he does. We're gonna put him to the test for sure. And I'm angry. I'm pissed off. You can see, dude. I'm 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 fired up. I believe in my boxing ability. I like the idea of taking over two sports at the same time. And uh, October 14th is gonna be fucking insane. It's gonna be a night to remember for sure. Hey, man. But if he fucks up, that if he doesn't show up, doesn't it fuck up more than a hundred grand worth? Doesn't do more so than a hundred thousand yeah. worth uh, of damage? Uh, yeah, but we'll we'll have backup, sweaty. You should have in the clause like oh, you okay. get his Instagram password or something. That's you take idea. over <laughs> the social media. You know, you know what's gonna, you know what's gonna be tricky with Dylan. Is he is a, he is a troll, right? And we're gonna have a little bit of a troll battle. But one thing he does and says is anything. He makes everything up. He and a lot of it's fake. Fake DMs. Yeah, like, he so creates so fake DMs and all types of fake shit. Yeah, like that. it's all fake. So like, so like, some people will believe what he says, and then I'm gonna have to have like a fact checker on board. <laughs> community like, notes. That's I'm gonna have to community notes Dylan in real life. Cause he just makes shit up, and I'm gonna be like, ah, fuck. You should like create the thing now, just like call it a fact check. A fact check, ah, not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dylan, no. Dylan, Dan is fact check. If he shows up, I'm, you know, I'm hesitant because like, does he deserve this clout? Does he deserve this attention? Absolutely fucking not. Does he deserve to get decapitated in round one in the first 15 seconds? Absolutely. Bro, you got a job. First too. round decapitation. Bro, please <laughs> stop. Not this again. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> you got a job to do, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. But but one job this this may affect, and I'll just say it. You're going back in the camp, and I wanted to talk to you about this. There's a chance that maybe you have to focus all of your energy into the camp, and there's a chance that maybe impulsive has to maybe whatever, right? Ben, I wanted to ask you this. What? If you if you go back in the camp and we need to get some shows done, Get George is there any chance that I could ask for the hand of the second Paul to sit in for this uh, episode him? as the host of Impulsive? He's, He's the, the only other person whose name fits on the, the name of the show. I, I mean, the answer is of course. I just don't know if he'd do it. He's busy as well. He has his own show. He's doing well. shit and he has his own show. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is intro the episode, piss off the guests at one point during the show, and then sign off. Why don't you give him <laughs> your fee? <laughs> and I'll give him my fee as well, and so he actually gets oh, paid that's for his that's time. A lot of money. I think that's it'd be funny to do for like one or two episodes. I'd be down actually. You, you guys would crush it. I don't know if I have like I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but it just okay. depends when. If you're I like don't think I'm gonna be like super busy before then, but it'd be funny it actually. Could be him. <laughs> it, could be, it could be my dad as well. You know, he's, he's oh yeah, that's, or Pam. Well, oh no, fuck. she got remarried. Any other Pauls as of right now? I have an uncle Jeff and uncle Jim. Nina's like basically there. She's not legally there yet, and the audience loves her. She I did great. I'm obsessed with her. Obsessed with her. Yeah, yeah with her. you crushed it, babe. You crushed it. Oh, we were it. talking about you. <laughs> yeah, they liked you. She waved. <laughs> Dang, that well, sounded far. Well, that was I hot. Was that was hot and heated. Jake, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Thank As you, man. As always, thanks for giving us your time. Uh, yet another therapy session online in front of 20 people in a warehouse and five cameras, six, seven cameras pointed at us. Uh, uh, Sorry sure, about that. Make sure to download... Fill in the blanks. Download a better. <laughs> uh, uh, we love you guys. Mike, Jeff, thank you guys for coming to Miami to do this podcast. Of course. It was, it was fun. Hit that cool. subscribe button. Yeah, it's my job. <laughs> you sons of guns, we love you. We'll see you I literally have easy. to be here. <laughs> Look over there.